welcome to another episode of Turtley Wild. Today, we have a special treat. We're here at the Tennessee Aquarium, meeting with a buddy of mine who takes care of a lot of the turtles. And today, we're going to be learning about Cicalia, so the four-eyed turtles. So I'm excited about that. So we're just going to hop up in here in the special delivery entrance and learn, oh, there's a truck coming, a little bit more about the species. So hope you enjoy it and enjoy what we learned from Bill. Here in the little nursery, I guess, hatchery. I guess nursery because you're not hatching. Yeah, it's the off exhibit one. Yeah, off exhibit with uh, Cicalia quadro salata. You can see that here. And then Cicalia beals or bealei. All right, do you want to just explain real quick what these numbers mean? Is oh, that okay? Yeah, that's, that's pretty easy. So all of our reptiles, their ID number start with an R for reptile, so that pretty, okay. that's pretty easy. Then the next two digits are the year, and then the last three digits are the number we accession them. So uh, the most important thing to get out of this is that this animal arrived here in 2020. 2020, okay. But that also means that um, it hatched here. You know, okay. if we if we had gotten an adult quad from another institution that got here like before like the next one or something, it would also have an R20 number. Okay. So like any, anything that shows up on R20 birth or oh, accession okay. other way. Okay. Just so it, so came from, it came into the yeah, collection in 2020. Yeah. But anything that hatched, you know, it's like if I know it hatched here, like all these guys, then I, you know, I know these all hatched in 20. Okay. And like there's some So this Beals was also in 20. Yeah. Okay. It's, that's the 26th animal. That's the 26th reptile we accessioned in uh, 2020. Okay, so that's the number. Not necessarily the, the number of quadrilles, a lot of the hatch, but the number no. of overall reptiles that were acquired or new. Yeah, that's the sixth one. So okay. somewhere, there's at least at least there's five other. And so when you're, how many eggs are typically laid by female? I think the most clutch. I've ever gotten is four, but four seems four four seems in one clutch. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's a lot. One to three. One to three. I think so when I average it out and maybe even take out the clutches of four, which don't happen very often, it comes out to about two point three and two point four or so. Okay. So you're saying, and what size do you normally be able to tell male and female? Is it about this size? A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe something like that. Oh, okay. So that's that range, pretty yeah. good size then. Okay. It seems to happen fast too. It seems like you look at it one day and you go, "Hey, wait, the head markings are different than it was like a couple of years before." Oh, there we go. They sit uh, their head out, and you don't want them to. Okay. Why is it? We got to trap with the adults. Oh, <laughs> actually, sometimes underwater. There you go. Oh, he got scared when. So you can kind of see the very clear eye spots on the quadro salata. And there's two sets. There you go. There you go. So the, from the turtle, I guess, I don't know what the turtle's perspective is. Maybe those are the first ones, the larger ones. For us, the ones that are most farther away, the back ones are the largest. And then the front That's are the, the, the uh, smaller ones. So they're pretty clear and they look like four eyes. That's why they're quad, called quadro salata, four-eyed turtle. And then on the beals, this is That's a smaller really one. Small. Let's see if we have a bigger beals. Yeah. There's a bigger beals. Let's see. Let's see Let's if we can see. Get him to. This one's older. Oh, this one. So these are going to be for this year. Now this says R zero nine. That's that the, that's the female. That's the. Oh, that's, that's the, the female, female that yeah, came from. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so these are laid this year. I have ID numbers for them. I just haven't. Okay. I usually use. Painter's tape or something. Okay. I guess I haven't gotten that far. So, so this is this year. So cage. you can see when they're young, that color is even brighter when they first yeah. hatch. And sometimes it can be. Yes, I think even. Like and then they then they turn to kind of a white or yellow. Yeah. So there's a 2017. And okay. A 20, so you can see the 20. difference. Now, when I was in Hainan, this lady had found it just fresh hatch, and it was like red. It almost looked like yeah. a Niger cans. It was so dark. Yeah, it was so I think it fades really fast. Yeah. But this There's is some a anti predator thing, so if they flip over, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm it not is. Sure what you would even but see. their plastron can be really brightly colored when they're young, and then it changes. And you see that in lots of different species as well. I think there's a bit of an egg tooth visible. Maybe. Get on there. Now, these hatched just what? 
two uh, months ago. This one says July 11th, so, so a, couple one, weeks. a couple weeks ago. So just fresh hatchlings, and these guys are pretty cute. And then this, their plastron will start to get kind of a markings on them, or their carapace will get markings on them as well. Some of them I've seen looks like bamboo leaves. They're really pretty. Okay. But yeah, this is a nice little quadros a lot this one is like about a month old so this one's a little smaller. bit older this one's smaller, this one's older but you can smaller. but yeah uh, even you can tell the plastron's even, even less in, yeah colored. in a month in a month yeah. it's more so you can see different growth rates this is a younger one but it's got that still somewhat fresh hatchling colored plastron and the month older it's smaller but the color is still gone this one actually hatched in the enclosure. Oh, we didn't wow. find okay. the egg. This one we incubated. Okay. Which actually makes me not want to incubate it. <laughs> yeah, so you look at the size difference. Yeah. Not incubated, hatched in the enclosure, incubated, and hatched out. Interesting. Do, yeah. And we don't know the size of the clutch of this versus that, though, do we? Um, I think it was two. Okay. I found, I found two. And they're both? Oh, they were both hatched in the enclosure? Yeah. Oh, okay. And the female was not with the male last year. Oh, the so that was. was not with the male for years. Oh, so, so that was like sperm storage. So I didn't really look for eggs. So two species, genetically very distinct, morphologically very similar, except for that head pattern. And hopefully, we, the adults, we can see that head pattern a little more clearly. But there's a little baby. And when did this one hatch out? This one was. Um, past week. Past week. Okay, so no, this one's super good. fresh. Let's see if we can see an egg tooth on there anywhere. Uh, yeah, you can see yeah, a little I bit. Can, I can kind of see this. You can see it right there on the point see on the end. Yeah. So we're going to, we had these water turned off so we could kind of hear well, but we're going to turn it back on. Talk about this for just a minute. All right, so why why do you have this water constantly flowing? What's it's that? actually on filtration. So that's oh, it's on filtration. Clean. Everything comes okay. out of the sump. Okay. So it there's a, there's a comes sump. out of the pipe. Yeah. Runs in through this little drain. Every, everything come, comes down to here. To this okay, side. and it comes over here and, and then gets filtered. This filtration is not on anymore, but there, there's a sock, so that's, that's okay. kind of that's the filtration. Of okay. course, filter. Okay. And so it just comes down and filters and then cycles it back through. I can, I can feed them two or three times a week and it stays pretty clean. It stays pretty clean. Okay. Down the sock on. And what, what are you feeding them? When they're this size? Mostly pelleted foods. Okay. Um, I think right now, you just keep, keep recommending them here, but then like, you also feed Nasco and Missouri. So when they're smaller, it's basically just a already pelleted. Yeah. Diet.